My favorite law of physics has always been Newton's law of universal gravitation. It keeps me down to Earth. But Astro Athena's here to tell us about what happens to our bodies without Earth's gravity. Our human bodies are incredible machines. But these amazing human bodies evolved on Earth, where there is gravity and an atmosphere. So what happens when you take all that away? Hi, I'm Athena, your friendly neighborhood astronomer. And today I'm breaking down how the human body changes in space. If you're an astronaut aboard the International Space Station, you might live in microgravity for half a year. And it sounds pretty fun, floating around like a superhero, doing flips and stuff as you run science experiments. But you know the old saying, less gravity, more problems. Let's start with your bones. Bones are really important. They help produce our red and white blood cells, store calcium, and protect our organs, like our brains and hearts. They even give our soft tissues structure, so we're not just weird blobs. Here's my impression of not having bones. Spooky Halloween skeletons make it seem like bones are hard, unchanging structures inside our body. But bones are living tissues. Cells called osteoblasts lay down new mineral along the surface of our bone. And different cells called osteoclasts break down old bone and release calcium into the blood. In a healthy earthling, this process happens at the same rate. But in microgravity, this process shifts and astronauts start losing bone at a much faster rate. And that means reduced bone mass and density. The exact trigger for this bone loss is being studied, but astronauts fight against it with special exercises and balanced diets. Next up, your heart. Being in microgravity can actually change the shape of your heart. Yup, here on Earth, your heart should be oval-shaped, like a water-filled balloon. But in microgravity, it becomes rounder, like an air-filled balloon. Sadly, it's never shaped like this. Microgravity also messes with the body's balance and ability to sense direction. Our vestibular system helps us determine the direction and speed in which we are moving or if we're moving at all. Two of the tiny organs in this system are known as gravity receptors. So it's no surprise that with less gravity to recept, they get a little weird. Living in space doesn't just put stress on your body. It also can take a toll on your mind. One thing researchers have already discovered is that astronauts do better mentally when they have access to fresh, tasty food. This is just one reason why NASA is finding new ways to grow fresh fruits and vegetables in orbit. Which, honestly, relatable. They had to lure me into the studio today with a hoagie. So if you were an astronaut fan before, hopefully you're even more impressed now that you know the physical and the mental challenges they need to overcome. And it's a reminder that sometimes the things we struggle against, like gravity, are the same things that make us stronger. Wow, that was deep. I'm Athena, your friendly neighborhood astronomer. And always remember, per Aspera at Astra. Bye guys. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.